Well, I think there is a chance that we might be experiencing a very small swarm. Now, the other day we went to go inspect that colony and I noticed a few queen cells that were at the bottom underneath of the colony. However, I did not find the queen and I did not find any extra eggs. So I left those queen cells there. There were only about two, but from the looks of what I'm experiencing right now, I have a feeling they might be swarming. I'm gonna show you swarming behavior, kind of what to look out for. That's the colony that I'm talking about. Notice the behavior. They're all kind of hanging out. Everyone's starting to take flight. Eventually I'll see the majority of them rush out. Now my hopes are I'm gonna be able to catch them before they go somewhere that I can't get them. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get some stuff ready because I would put money on this colony that it is about to swarm. Okay, wardrobe change. So, yes, this is pre-swarming typical behavior. And you can see they're all kind of rushing out. I grabbed a couple of queen clips because if I see her, I'm gonna go ahead and catch her. 
and then prevent them basically by swarming and go ahead and give them a new nuke box. Now, this was a split that we had done and we introduced a queen to it, but they, I, I really, oh, look, 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 look. There she is. There she is. Okay, you see her? Come on. Come on. Got her. Got her. Holy cow. You guys caught a queen before she swarmed. Okay. All right, so here's one. Now, I have noticed that we typically will have multiple, multiple queens when it comes to swarming. And think about it. When a colony is about to swarm, they're gonna better their odds, you know, by having a few queens with them. Because if you think about it, if they swarm and something happens to their one queen in the act of them swarming, they have no other option. So they're gonna kind of create a few queens. And I have an extra queen clip. So now my mission is to see if I can find another queen in the act of this. And then what I can do is if I find two queens, I can go ahead and split them again and, you know, make two colonies out of one. But they are, they're definitely hanging around. You guys, this is such a beautiful situation. All right, I'm gonna look over here. I'm gonna be real careful. They're congregating right here. So just by chance, I'm gonna look to make sure that there is not another queen in this mix. I already got one. I'm gonna set the camera down. You guys, this is crazy. Craziest thing. I mean, I've done some pretty crazy stuff as beekeeper, but like this is an Awesome! This is so awesome! Alright girls, where are you going? I know there's got to be another queen in this mix. I'm basically just scanning. Uh, I'm scanning. Now I'm looking, I'm seeing a lot of bearding down here. What I think I'm gonna do is, I think I've got, I'm gonna go get a frame and see if I can get them to walk on it because it could be the queen, there might be a queen down there. So the queen is still in there, one of them. Again, I have a feeling there is another one somewhere. And that is what I would like to try to get. Isn't this magical? <laughs> look, look, right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, where'd she go? I knew she was there, there. Okay, guys. Oh, I got her. I got her. And I got a few other bees that I did not exactly want to get. Okay, okay. Is she there? Oh please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Nope, I did not get her. I had a feeling. I just saw her go down there. Okay. Woo! Come on, girl. Cameraman and catching bees at the same time. I think I'm gonna want an assistant. <laughs> okay, where did she go? I just saw her. So what had happened is when I went to go get her, there were a few other bees in the way and I was unable I was unable to get her but it looks like they're hanging out right now for a little bit so if I can see her move up I'm scanning I 
All right, I know she's in here. I think it might be time for me to get the handy dandy uh, frame to have the bees walk on. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to find her. Now what I'm, I'm also looking for some, there she is. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's get her to walk right in. Oh my goodness. You guys, I got her. Now, uh, for uh, grins, I feel like I probably should get just one more queen clip because at this point, anything's possible. All right. So for fun, what I'm gonna do is, I love when I use a frame to catch swarms because look, see how they're they're draped down and then they're gonna kind of start walking over here. And if I really want to entice them, maybe I could do that. Put the queen in, queen right here. And kind of see what they're doing. So much for me planting my garden today. I literally was planting all my lettuce and I looked up and then I, I just saw that behavior, you know, just, you, you can feel it, the air, like everything kind of changes and, and you can feel just, just how different they, they, they are and you know like that they're gonna be swarming. Well, I am sorry I interrupted your day, but I was not ready to let you guys go. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go ahead and get them set up. Get a new box up here. They're fanning, see? They're like, hey, our queens are right here. I'm just looking for one more queen. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed two new foxes that I have, and my plan is to get them split pretty evenly in here. One of the things that I like to do is I like to always have extra drawn out comb. Um, this is like gold to me, you know? I mean, for the most part, it's drawn out. There's a little bit, but having them have, you know, a little bit of a resource is really going to to benefit them in the long run. I'm gonna go ahead and put this queen kinda in here. I might leave her in the queen clip um, until I can get everybody, you know, to like, hey! And since they're there, I might do that. This might be a good idea and then I'll do the other one. Come on, look, here's your queen. Now the other queen that they are really loving, I'm gonna place, I'm gonna place her in the, oh, can't do this one handed. Oh yes, I can, look at me. Place this kind of right in here. And uh, I'm gonna move it closer. But my goal is I'd like to be able to like kind of split the amount of bees, like half in here and half in here to give them both a good fighting chance. Now what I'm probably gonna do is go and shake open, shake a couple of 
frame, shake a couple of bees off some other frames to give them uh, some honey that's drawn out and some nectar so that it gets them going a little bit faster. They're hanging around and I went ahead and got a good amount of bees in that one and the queen is still in the queen clip. I'm going to go ahead and get them moved and uh, yeah. I do believe we are getting ready to get hit with a storm so I'm going to have to act fast, pretty fast. Okay, so I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. I'm actually gonna keep these guys locked up tonight and I'm gonna check the temperature tomorrow. I did go ahead and keep the one queen in her queen clip on this one right here, um, only because they really were trying to go back to the other queen. So we're gonna keep her locked up in there and see if they take her uh, tomorrow, but it's going to be cool enough that I can keep them locked up and hopefully prevent them from trying to swarm again or go back to their other colony. I did go ahead and add a pollen patty in both of the nuke boxes as well as a inner feeder with some one-to-one -one sugar ratio and I just felt a sprinkle so I have a feeling that uh, it's going to start pouring down rain. Thank you guys for watching and as always don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old.